What's up, people? I am almost certainly real. I am doing a noble list of challenge. We're obvi we're obviously gonna have to take the loss on that first one. Ooh, obelisks. So I'm gonna try doing obelisks and um lookouts is what I want to try to do. I'm a little worried about my mana. A little worried about that. So there's the lookout. That is definitely something else I want to get. So let's just pick that up. Keep expanding here. Let's get a lookout down. I guess we just put the lookout. Sure. Um, plus one damage to health or to go mana banks. I think we need more mana is, is uh, a little bit more important than anything else. So I think that's going to be a pretty limiting factor for us in terms of uh, the situation. So the mana banks are a little bit different now. So they only give us plus one. Um, which is uh, a little bit... Ah, uh, mana siphons. That's going to help us a lot here. So the mana siphons still give plus one themselves. So... Uh, We'll definitely be investing in the mana siphons quite a bit, quite a bit. I think probably just going to leave that a guy in progress. But those mana, once we get those mana siphons up, we can start to build out probably an anti-armor guy here, and then maybe an anti anti-shield one up a little bit farther. I do like what I'm seeing so far. I don't think that we're really going to be able to invest in these houses in terms of the obelisk cost. So, uh, yeah. Uh, regenerate 1% of my mana. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that for sure. Nothing else there to take anyways. Expand. I, I think... I think now I can go into getting another obelisk and lookout combo because it's definitely um, at some point I need I need to get more more stuff and I need to start saving for it. They are such high costs that it's uh, you really do need to save for quite a long time. How much does this lookout add to the obelisk overall? Not a crazy amount. Not a crazy amount. All right, we're still doing. We're still still doing okay. And it's kind of a a question of like um, do I invest in upgrades for this or do I save for a whole new obelisk and lookout combo? And I kind of think I want to save for a new combo, but I'm a little worried that if I don't. I don't pump some gold in, I'm going to run into priorities. But I like that we got a little bit extra armor damage there. That's definitely going to help us. So I think, yeah, the, the mana is definitely something that we're going to have to figure out. With the new patch... Um, so mana banks used to give like, uh, oh, so they give 1.2 a second. I thought it was one a second, but it's slightly more than that. Come on, come on. Ooh, ooh. Um, so I think we just take night watch, even though it's not really super useful for us, but there we were getting a little close to to losing, which I don't love. And, and we're, we're a ways off of getting getting to another one, so. I'm a little concerned about that, that how little gold we're getting right now is uh, a bit yikes. I might actually demolish this. Yeah, because I, yeah, that totally makes sense. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. And then once we get another obelisk here, another obelisk going. I'm curious if I just don't make them a good against all damage types and just put them on progress. At least for now. Yeah, the armor and the high health ones, I think we might take a life loss here. Okay, okay. 
Uh, mana banks plus 10. That's potentially useful later. Um, Because we do have the percentage regen. It doesn't feel that great, though, if I'm to be honest. I'm tempted to just pick up universities, even though, like, I don't need... Yeah, no, I'm just going to go with the saving account one for now. It's a little early to grab universities. So. Uh, we got our first split, so that's not ideal here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to demolish this, get another obelisk down, and then we'll rebuild that mana siphon, because I think I do need that mana siphon. And I wonder if I don't go progress, I just go most health. Um, banditry, yeah. I think we need the... Ooh, I actually... You know what? I was sitting there, I was talking about rebuilding my mana siphons, and then I didn't do it. So that's an F. Um, yeah, sure. I guess theoretically, if, if this was to wrap around in the right way, we could get double attacking, but I don't think so. Then I think a little bit more in mana siphons, and then another a lookout. Look out going over here. And then I want to get a a most armor, least shields, then like a most shields most shields one. And then this last one I think just overall on progress. I'm a little worried about shit. The uh... okay, so I'm definitely worried about the guys that split apart, battering rams, because I think they come next level. Uh, plus one shields, I guess, is the only thing. Uh, monster watch. We are getting kind of close to the shield part of the game. What are these guys? They're naturally kind of... Oh, no, they're not not that good against shields, actually. Okay. We'll do that. We'll grab that. Yeah, I feel like we just have very, very little gold. Without having those ballistas on those houses gaining you that extra chunk of gold... I definitely feel pretty poor for this point of the game. To be fair, it's just these guys are super fucking expensive and the lookouts are pretty expensive. So, yeah, next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop a lookout for sure. With the same target. Ah, shit. Because the range aren't the same. Ugh. Okay, I got I gotta build the lookout I think back a little weirdly. Like I gotta build the lookout here or here. Because if I build it here, it's gonna end up targeting stuff that's not in the range of this. Oh no wait, isn't there a marked? So I think here. Oh marked. Okay, so I can put this on marked. Okay. Right, I forgot that that got added. That works, that works. Um, I guess this, yeah, sure. Because we do, we do definitely run into some shield issues. Um, I do still want to put it, I think, a little bit back. I don't know if I want it that far back. Yeah, I think that's good overall. Just because I... Yeah. 
I don't want it to be marking things that are farther out, right? I want it to be marking stuff that's inside the range. Um, so most health, least armor, least shields. Help us chunk stuff down that has high HP. I'm a little... I think maybe I should have done this as an anti-armor one. No, I want to do anti-armor a bit farther up and then like anti-shields. Like I want to do anti-shields, anti-armor, and then have this... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. And let's expand here. I'm a little worried about my mana still. A little worried about it. Yeah, so these battering rams I'm worried about with, with the way that my targeting is. I am actually going to go to most armor. Oh no, should I just want this guy unmarked? Right, and then I, I change... Marked, 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 and then you go most armor, least health. So I need to I need to split those battering rams apart. So targeting wise, yeah, okay, that splits them. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I feel good about that. We might switch. We might switch the targeting around a little bit later, but uh, yeah, I think I think I need to have the most armor, least health, and I might as well put this guy. No, let's just keep them on progress. They should automatically target the same thing. Ah, uh, okay. It's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job of getting those uh, battering rams. Poison, I guess we'll do that. I'm actually going to get armor because I care about getting my burn a little bit more than I care about. Um... A little bit more than I care about my uh, whatever, my poison, because I think we're going to be okay with the amount. We've got a good amount of anti shield upgrades on our on these guys. I'm not sure if by level I, I kind of would like to get by level 15 another another one of these guys up um, to deal with shields. Probably here, I think. I don't think that that's a plus three. No, it's a plus two, but I think that that's fine. All right, this is, uh, this is interesting. I'm interested to see how the ballista or sort of the obelisk and lookout combo goes into into late game. Once we start getting, once we start getting a lot of units, right? Shit. Ah, come on, guys. Target the ballistas. Thank you. Battering ram. Hmm. Maybe least health should be first. Um. Least health. Most armor. Because the problem is, once this this guy when he splits, he's some of them spawn stuff with armor, and then that takes priority over other. Eh, I don't know. I, I mean, I think we're still doing fine overall, so I'm not like super fussed about it. Um, we're gonna wait to do the. Poison. I 
I think we're fine on shield damage. I think we're fine on health damage. I think we're fine on armor damage, frankly. So I'm just going to go for the plus one health to unlock bleed. Um... So invest a little bit more in mana siphons, even though I don't actually need them right now. Once I get this guy up and going, I think we definitely will. Um, do I just pop him down now? Yeah, why not? That's going to be my anti-shield one, um, but he can get a little bit of like whatever other experience. I'm not that fussed. He's not going to get an insane amount of experience in the next one level or whatever. And I'll actually just stick him on most health uh, for Oogie. That'll help us out with that. Um, how's my mana doing? I'd like to invest a little bit more. I wouldn't mind getting a lookout down as well before Oogie, because it's just an, a lot of extra damage. All right, I'm liking I'm liking this combo though. The lookout. Um and hmm, no. I'm just trying to get the one. I want to get the lookout on a good tile, but also the range of it. Ah, ooh, that actually makes it it makes it difficult. Because this guy's going to target stuff all the way through this range, so I, I almost have to have the lookouts not overlapping where I want to target marked. I, I can just go most shields. Uh, maybe what I do is I target just most shields on this guy, and I target most shields on this guy. And then I can do, I can do like a similar thing here, because I want to put in an armor one here. We will take the universities now. Um, cause I definitely, I definitely want to get universities. I think they scale well. So yeah, most shield, most health for now. You as well, most health for now. And then, um, we will, so I want to pop this lane. I want Ogie to come from there. Oh, we got, we just got ourselves a big split, which is not ideal. I'm just going to drop another mana siphon out of an abundance of caution type thing. Just trying to make sure that they're both targeting the same thing. Most health, progress. Hmm. I'm a little worried, like, theoretically, this can end up targeting stuff back here that this obelisk isn't targeting. I'm just kind of hoping that by the time that happens... Ah, fuck. Maybe I move this up more? No, I don't want to do that either. Maybe I'd put him on marked? Yeah, it's very difficult with the difference in ranges on these... Okay, uh, Uga just got fucking melted, but we are running a little low on mana there, so we're going to invest in that. Uh, but you guys are going to go on to most shields. You're going to go on to most shields. And we'll think about our targeting issues more later. Uh, plus three damage to shields, I guess? That feels a little bit extreme. I think we're just going to be like super over over damaged on shields but that's fine oh we only got one chest that is slightly unfortunate now we're gonna just try and spread this out a little bit um you're on most shield most shield and let's go mana siphons now let's invest a little bit in those guys because we were definitely seeing our mana go down there pretty hard and just as these towers level up naturally we're gonna see our mana usage increase significantly 
So our shields, I actually thought we would be chunking through that a lot quicker. I mean, we're getting through it. We're getting through it, no problem about that. Um, but not given how many upgrades we have to shield damage. I guess obelisks naturally have very low damage to shields. But um, yeah, a little, little surprised. I'm going to go ahead and drop down a few extra because this guy isn't firing, right? And if all three of them start firing, then we're going to have issues. So we're definitely at a mana deficit. And, and I think these... Uh, These guys are definitely the best, most cost-efficient way for me to get mana is these blue cube things. And then after that, yeah, we're going to have to... We're going to have to look for some mana upgrades. I think that that's definitely something that I'm starting to look at now is, is saying, like, hey, we got to get we got to get some mana reduction. Um, plus two to armor, plus one to health. Uh, I'm just going to go plus two armor, I think, for now. I really want to see the bleeds come online, though. I, I want to get bleed and burn going. Yeah, we can also start thinking about our next our next obelisk um, lookout combo. Getting that going. I think something in here with like a most armor. And then maybe putting this combo back to progress back here, just having a bunch of progress and just giving, eventually I'll just do upgrades so that these two are just kind of like very well balanced. Cause I feel like I want most shields, most armor, most health and then these two just on progress, I think is kind of what I'm gonna look for. And that's just like for level 40 basically, is I wanna, by the time stuff gets to here, I wanna make sure the big splitters are split. All right, I like how I like how we're getting more gold now. I'm invest a little bit in mana banks because that definitely helps to have that pool that fills up. It just gives me more breathing room. Um, and I think now we are gonna go here, obelisk on this plus three, and you are going to be. Uh, so I want. I think I want bleed first. Bleed, burn. You know, I don't know that I have the mana to support that, weirdly. I'm almost better off not building it right now. Uh, okay, we got an, you know what? We got another blue, blue cube, so let's fill this out. And say that that's probably okay to drop down another one now. I might hold off till I have the gold until like I have the gold for uh, the lookout and uh, obelisk. This guy is starting to get a good amount of eh, not really. He's only level four. I thought he would have been higher level. They're, I guess they they have such low range. So let's go ahead and do this guy on most armor, least shields. I 
What's the range on that? Mm. I don't know how I feel about the targeting on these. If I should just put them on marked or not. Deal an extra base damage for every one second they target the same thing. I mean, they're not targeting things, for, for frankly, uh, that long. So I'm actually going to not get that for now. Maybe, like, later on, I think that there's something to be said for getting that. Um, yeah, weirdly, I feel like these need a way to reduce the range on these... Um, so I think I'm just going to get savings account for now. So we're getting these percentage upgrades. I think that that's going to be reasonably, reasonably important. There is, it's, I think it's underneath health, but we can get obelisks reduce their mana usage. Uh, let's pop that out one. Did I get a blue cube? We did not get a blue cube. Um, so I think I'm going to invest in a another. So I think now I just I'm going to go progress. Progress, progress, progress. And this guy just also on. Oh, no, I'll leave him unmarked. That's a little bit safer, I guess. I don't know exactly how sort of the targeting, you know, how often do they retarget theoretically, right? Yeah, and once I have that bleed, that bleed is, is taking care of those uh, uh, things that split apart, the battering rams. Lookout and Obelisk. Done. This is actually a pretty fun combo. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm hoping we get good universities because universities are going to increase the damage of like both of them. And that just ends up becoming in kind of insane. And I'm, I, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go scholarships, right? I feel like I'm feeling pretty okay at this point in the game. I do, in the next kind of five or six rounds, I do want to see the us get burn, especially before 30. But otherwise, I'm feeling pretty happy about this. Um, let's just keep trying to spread this out a little bit more. It's a reasonable spread. I'm just trying to make it my lane so everything kind of comes in one by one. Right now, these two are kind of starting to run into each other a little bit. So I might just try to drag this one out super far. Because I'm liking the timing of this one, this one, and this one roughly. I wouldn't mind this one being out one more without a split. Um, but then we can just kind of drag this one a long ways away. And maybe if we get super lucky, we could get it to turn into range of this. Because this guy's not getting it to attack very much, which I don't love. Right? I mean, to some degree, it's like, okay, we're killing stuff so fast, which is good. But also, we're just getting no experience on these. And these are like our cleanup ones, right? I should also be checking. I did not get a blue cube, but uh, we should be looking out for that. Hey, Skinny Papa, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and post more on YouTube. I'm just like, I just moved, and now I'm like I'm moving again, and I bought a car, so I'm kind of kind of busy with life stuff. Um, also, now that I have a car, I might do stuff, do less stuff inside playing video games, but I'm going to try and uh, upload a little bit more. I'm doing a combo with the obelisks and uh, these lookouts, and these lookouts basically add, add, uh, ooh, all lookouts gain 15% crit. They basically add their stats to other towers, and since these guys attack so fast, they just, they work really, really well together. 
plus two damage to health, plus two to shields. I think I'm just going to get that 15% crit. Feels kind of juicy. I was going to expand this one more, yeah. And then I'm going to go out on this lane. Yeah, I, I mean, once I actually get into my new place, it should just be, like, a little bit nicer as well. I'll have, like, more free time generally. Because the place I'm moving into has, like, in-unit laundry and a dishwasher. Um, I don't know that that really frees up that much time. All right, I should actually be spending money, I guess. Let's go for a mana bank or two. And then... I wanted to do an obelisk here on most health, I think. Most health, least armor, least shields, uh, mana, mana, mana. Okay, mana banks don't give me that much mana, but I think I just gotta spam them for a little bit. They do give me a reasonable amount of pool, which helps for sure. Nice. Welcome to Kina. Also, I've been like somewhat glued to the news the past week. Um, been a little bit of crazy stuff going on in the world. I think... I see banditry, I pick banditry. I like money. Just gonna slap down another mana bank. The nice thing about the mana banks is like, you can just sell them. You get exactly, you get your gold back. So it's like, either I sit there with 2000 gold or I can sit there with $2,000 worth of mana banks. There's no real difference between the two. So we might as well give us, give ourselves a little bit of a cushion. Ooh, another blue cube. We like it. We like it. It's like they just like they're just like one shotting these like weak units. I'm almost tempted to just put everything on progress just for like the uh because then, then your lookouts and your whatever you know are all going to be uh, not necessarily actually. You, then you have to weird, you have to build your like your uh, lookouts. You have to build them like farther up. I could I could put it on marked right. Um, but I wish I could like down. I could take the range and like reduce the range of them. All right, plus three to armor. I think we're gonna take that because I am I am looking for the... You know what, I think this plus two to health, I think weirdly opens up the upgrade for the reduced mana usage, which would be pretty huge. Okay, nice, we got another blue cube. We are getting to the point where there is like a lot of enemies though. That's that's like what I'm curious about, right? Like level 30 especially, we start to get a lot more enemies. So this is most armor. Oh. Wait, what? So this guy's most health, least armor, least you. Okay, I have not built, I did not build a lookout for that guy. Uh, no. I want something a little bit farther up. How's that? Okay. Those have pretty similar, okay. 
So most health, least shield, least armor. Um, let's just make sure they're on identical targeting. Plus three to armor. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so wait, what, what is this? Least armor first. Okay. And then that ends up being least shields. Do one more here. And then I think we're going to do one more here or one more here next round. So Ogeek ends up coming out down here. Might as well spend my money on mana banks. If I'm not going to actually build anything else. And I think I'm going to do a, a, I'm going to do a progress obelisk in here. I think I'll probably do this guy as progress. Just because that's a pretty safe targeting to do with the do with the lookouts. And then I think I will eventually invest in just upgrading these guys with gold later on. Because just not, nothing is getting through here. They're not getting any levels. So that is a 20%. Okay. Lifesteal. Ooh, 15% crit. Ooh. No, I'm going to take the burn, actually. Because the burn's just actually important. Um, even though I like all those other upgrades. Oh, we're going to do one of these ones. I forgot which. I think this one. Uh, we got a split. Interesting. I almost always seem to get splits now. So I think you used to never get splits on the bosses. And then in the latest patch, I feel like I always get splits on the bosses. Um, not ideal, but not terrible. It's only a double. I think I can spread this out as well. And then eventually continue to drag this one out. Or maybe I just do like another progress down here. I almost want to do a near death, actually. Maybe a near death without a lookout. Just to help get rid of stuff. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, I think we're fine now. I was a little worried about not getting, if I didn't get through his shields, just the way that my targeting was. Um, so we'll see how these guys do here. All right, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I was a little nervous, but that was obviously not not needed. Uh, banditry 3, yes. I do want to get that disease ray, but I am just... I'm too big on getting... Yeah, sorcery, we'll get that. Uh, ooh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get universities. Okay, nice. 
Okay, now we can start building. We can, like, that is a huge, huge upgrade for us, that 20% less. Because um, we have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can basically build a un another university for free off that. Or, sorry, another uh, obelisk for free off that. And I do need to start looking for the universities, the shrines. So the lookout towers, they add... So you have the 7, 3, 13, and 8. They basically add that to this tower. They Well, they add it to whatever tower they're marking. Let me see. It's hard to see because the marks change a lot a little bit. Okay, so you see that little mark? There's a little targeting thing on this unit, right? You can see them. That's basically adding all the stats to whatever is hitting that enemy. And since these guys... The... The obelisks fire so fast. They're the fastest firing unit in the game by far. I think basically by a factor of three or four, they're the fastest firing unit in the game. Is that like just gives insane value because it's on like a per hit basis. And these are hitting so quickly that these lookout towers are just adding an insane amount of stats. And then once we get universities, it scales both the obelisks and the lookouts. So you can get just absolutely insane insane uh, damage going. We don't have any AoE though, which is kind of a problem. Um, but in all honesty... Okay, how do I feel about the range on this? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Um, I'm just going to think about what I want to do targeting wise on that. I guess most shields as well. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's yeah, let's pick up the poison. That's good to get for sure. No universities. We're a little sad about that. A little sad about that. Um, obelisk. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a most shields here. And then we go for a lookout. Yeah, the targeting on that is not going to be perfect. And then I think a progress guy here. No, I think I think a progress guy back here. What do we got? That's reasonable. Interesting is theoretically I could for progress, you could have a single lookout and then a bunch of, uh... I'm kind of worried that, like, they are not going to change target. Like, I could do one lookout and invest a fuck ton into upgrades into the lookout and then have the, um... So this gives me five... This actually gives me basically 10% crit because it adds it to the obelisk and the lookout and then the lookout adds it to the obelisk. Um... I'm just going to go to this because eventually, no, yeah, eventually I get a 15% uh, crit crit upgrade there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And let's start dragging this guy out. We got ourselves a blue cube, which we don't hate. We do want to see the occult shrine. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good for sure. Considering a non-trivial of our towers don't ever get to attack. 
We're up to 3% a second in our regen, which is nice. And we've got quite a few upgrades to reduce the obelisk mana costs as well. So I'm feeling uh, feeling good about our mana costs. So I think progress, look out on progress. That ends up being pretty similar. I'm actually going to do this unmarked. Oh, let's actually do progress and marked. So I'll leave the top one on progress, and then I don't know where marked is. Okay, so marked is one left. That makes sense. It was just recently added. Fifteen percent crit. I think so. I don't think anything. I don't think I target anything for more than one second. Is is the issue with focus fire? Eventually, maybe that'll be decent. But for now, oh, that's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. And we're also probably going to get another university opening there. Um, for now, we're just going to invest equally. Eventually, we're going to invest more so in uh, health and shield damage. But for now, we're just going to spread it out. We're looking okay. We're looking okay. Eight. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. Since I'm feeling so good on on where we're at, I'm probably just going to be dumping basically all my gold into universities within reason. I'm not, I don't think I'll go past 300. But at level 30, you just get you get a lot out of investing in universities at this point because we basically have 10 levels before we're going to get it to 40, which is kind of our next power spike. So the issue with this, I'm realizing this right now is not what I want, which pisses me off a little bit. Because this guy, and he's going to end up targeting stuff down here. If I want a progress lookout, it has to be in front of the... Oh, you know what? To be fair, this guy didn't used to be on progress, which I just remembered. Uh, we'll get plus three to health because that unlocks another. So I got to... Do I, I think I just sell this. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but uh, I want this guy to basically be, he has to be like a shorter range, you know, that's not good either. Okay, and now this guy, you're just going to go on, yeah, you're marked, marked, marked. Because he, I, I don't want him, tar I want this one to be slightly shorter range than uh, this guy. And that way, um, he'll always be targeting something this guy can fire on. Okay, that works. And I don't, yeah, I don't have that problem with that one. But we'll put you on marked anyways, just make sure they're on the same thing. Uh, I should have gone the other direction with my priority. Alrighty. Oh yeah, we're definitely expanding out here because it's probably gonna. Ah uh, no. Okay. We didn't get another university slot because this is up on a plus one, but uh, not terrible. We did get a split there, which we don't love seeing, but say la vie. Overall, still not terrible. Anyways, let's take these guys up to 10, 10, 10.
Yeah, I can see getting that, uh, the, like, targeting for one second type thing going soon. Some of the higher health ones, they definitely tar- See, I don't know if it, if it takes a full second to kick in, though. I don't know how good that is. If it adds it continuously, like, if it gets point- I don't know if they can get, like, 0.5 damage after 0.5 seconds. It's a lot better. My guess is it's, like, on a one-second timer thing, which is, like... Because you have to wait a full second for it to kick in, and then a full second for the next one to kick in. Uh, we did get another blue cube. I should be on top of that. Life steal. That sounds pretty good. Uh, 20% overall mana reduction seems better, though. Alright. Okay, we did get plus one armor damage. Not a lot of shrines, though. By 31, 32, you kind of hope to have, like, to get three of these, basically. Um, I would say three of them is good luck. One of them is not good luck. Two of them is kind of average luck. Because the earlier you get at them and earlier you invest in them, they just pay off so much more. Like, once you start getting them at, like, 35, 36, it's like you're just that much closer to the end of the game that they just don't do nearly as much for you. Yeah, now I'm, like... I'm kind of tempted to do, like, an obelisk here, here here and here and then just juice the living fuck out of this guy and then that'll basically be like i'm getting three three x the upgrades out of a single tower i might actually do that up front so i can kind of watch it i'm tempted to do it here progress progress change this guy to progress and then have a, uh, or change them all to, like, marked, and then juice the living fuck out of a single lookout. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. Um, so i got to find a good lookout position. So where's, so you can target up to here. I want a lookout that's going to be, like, and let me see here. So here, here, ooh. So I think I want to look out that basically targets up to this point. Ah, uh, shit. I kind of want to... I want to be able to hit this stuff coming down this lane. This is actually where most of my openings are. So this is not... Uh, I can get a range upgrade for them, can I? At some point, there is a range. Oh, right there. Speak of the devil. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. That works now. Now the issue is, is where the fuck am I going to get the lookout that... Do all of those, are all those able to hit that? Not quite. This, ah, uh, this can end up targeting stuff that's a little bit too... Fuck. If I get one more up range upgrade, I would be fine. What about here? Okay. Okay, I think that, that we're going to have to go with this position. Put you on progress. And then we're just going to fucking juice the fuck out of this guy. Oh, okay, I don't have very much gold. Oh, and okay, we got another three slot university. So we're going to be investing in that next. Uh, but then I'm going to put all these guys on marked. Which is the very last one. Marked, 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 and you're in progress. And then I'll change this guy in marked after. Because I'm going to be investing in universities for a little bit. But eventually what we're going to do is we're going to juice the living fuck out of this... This, uh... Lookout. 
just to see how it does. I'm kind of worried that like just targeting wise is they're going to kill stuff so quickly that it'll, it'll actually kind of be a waste. But we'll see. We'll see. To some degree, uh, well, I guess they're unmarked in progress. So I'm kind of worried that they'll start targeting the most shields one as well. Which in all honesty, I don't necessarily hate that much. But I think because they're on most shields in progress, or these guys or these guys are unmarked in progress, they'll go for this. I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll go. We'll go for that. Maybe I actually do marked as the second priority. If I do marked and then I do progress on them. I think that that's maybe that'll maybe help that. Oh, OK, let's invest in this university before I forget about it. Um. I don't have enough gold. Let's go to uh, seven, seven. Eight, eight there. OK. How's stuff doing here? Just starting to take a long time. <clears throat> I'm actually uh, I'm actually going to start just building here because I'm a little bit I'm getting annoyed at how long they're, they're Ooh, OK. Plus one range plus one range. That does let me. Uh, this maybe fucks with all of my fucking uh, god damn it as I'm really realizing this is maybe fucks with a bunch of my other positioning that kind of pisses me off um, so I don't think I want to get any more range if I'm to be frank And these rounds are just getting a little bit slow, so I'm going to start upgrading stuff in, in this area. Oh, this one's still on most shields, right? Yeah, I'm going to leave them on most shields for a while. I don't know. Whatever. Let's push this up to 10, 10, 10. Yeah, we're at 33. We can go to 10, 10, 10, I think. I should do my uh, less expensive ones first. Because we do get we do get effectively double value out of our universities with the lookouts and the obelisks. So we have, even though we have 1-1, one, one, this is basically the same as having 2-2. Two, two. Assuming our targeting works perfectly, which it obviously doesn't. Yeah, to some degree, I'm worried that I'm just going to start if I once I start spamming upgrades on this, I'll just start one shotting stuff. We'll see. Definitely don't have that problem yet. Life steal. That seems pretty good, but I think I think we're kind of okay on mana. Now that I've like I've reduced it a bunch already, and then this Yeah, I don't know I don't know that I need that. So let's just get a bit of if I get these, eventually I can get to another fifteen percent crit. The uh 
Let's more. Let's do shields because they natu obelisks naturally have very little shield damage. Oh, fuck yeah! Another university slot. Okay, we're feeling good. At level thirty-four, you still you still like seeing them. All right, I'm gonna go to the washroom. I'll be right back. I'll zoom out a little bit for you guys while I go to the washroom. You can see everything. There we go. You know what I'm wondering is like I see I see streamers like always drinking water and drinking drinks and stuff like that, but I don't feel like I see streamers go to the washroom that often. And I'm kind of like wondering, do like how common is it for streamers to have like a p a p Nalgene or something like that? You know, I feel like that's got to be pretty common. Especially like if you're in like a room and your bathroom's kind of far away, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna stop upgrading these. I'm gonna stop expanding here just because I, I literally don't even wanna, even though it's ideal for me to spread these out more, I'm just gonna go with these ones because it's just gonna make the game take less time and I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Yeah, honestly, like, I feel like I watch streamers and so I don't see them take restroom breaks very often. But you could totally just, if you just had, like, a Nalgene, or maybe you'd want something a bit bigger, because I feel like I can, I can fill up, like, a Nalgene with a single pee. And then you just, like, and you just pee, pee in a bottle. It's like, I don't know. I guess maybe some people find that weird, but to me, it's like, peeing, peeing in a bottle is, I would do that for sure. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um... 5% crit. Dangerous on stream. Yeah, I guess if you have uh, if you have a cam going. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. But I, yeah, I feel like most people are just like kind of chest up type cams. But uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you had like a camera fall down there and you just got a dick, your dick's sitting in an algae bottle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we take the 5% crit because it's basically 10%. Um, and we got these at 999. Yeah, let's, we'll say 999 is good. Um, let's drag this one out one. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're getting good university luck now. A little bit late, but you can't complain. that We just got two universities in a row. Um, I might do another obelisk on marked here. And just leave this one on most shields, because I, I do think I want a most shields very early on. All right, let's invest in this. I'm going to stop going. I think I'm going to go to eight now. Because basically, you just get less of a payoff. Oops, I already had that one upgraded. Um, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Although we do, we do basically get double payout of our idea in part because I actually just want to start investing in this guy because it sounds like a fun idea to to have like a bunch of progress ones and then one juice step uh, one juice step uh, whatever this guy is called look out Oh, 3,500, that's expensive, it's expensive. Well, we'll do that one more and then we'll go start investing in this. Assuming I don't get any more universities. 
guess I can pop this one out one as well. I'm starting to run into these. These guys are starting to run into each other timing wise, but whatever. Oh shit, it's, uh, I completely did not notice it was a boss level. I think there should be like some very unique boss music or something like that. I mean, I'm not fussed about it at all. I think we're fine, but. All right, what do we get? 15% crit, I like it. 25% bleed, don't know that I care that much. Um, oh, let's get the life steal, it sounds good. 5% crits, yeah, I think so. Focus fire is tempting to get, but again, I feel like I just kill shit so fast, it's like whatever. And you are gonna go progress marked, and now we're gonna start juicing you up. Just gonna give you a bit of everything. Just spread those upgrades out. Three, four, one. Pretty good, pretty good. I actually maybe should, you know what? I should be doing more, I should be doing more shields and health, but primarily shield damage, I think. Just because the obelisks are naturally kind of weak against shields. To be fair, like later, as the later and later goes, um, an audio cue would be nice. What do you mean by that? An audio cue? Um, the later and later game goes, the natural. Oh yeah, 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 for the boss. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, the later and later the game goes, the less and less like kind of the tower's natural damage matters. Like, these are really weak against shields early on, but it tends to kind of eventually even out as the game goes on and your and their natural levels start to take over, sort of their base stats. Um, one thing I think would be interesting is, like, if different towers gained different amounts of experience or got different amounts of bonuses to damage as they leveled up. Because it does feel like you can make any tower good against anything just by just by pushing the upgrades. I guess I want to get quality over quantity as well, the crit upgrade. I haven't, I don't know that I've seen that. Yeah, I mean, one thing is the bosses aren't really like, I feel like very, very rarely do I ever have a problem with the boss. And I think, you know, since we're so hard into single target damage this game, I think it's extremely unlikely that we'll run into boss problems. But even even like when I'm playing AoE only, I feel like I never have problems with the boss. Maybe sometimes... Maybe sometimes like the level 25 boss if you're really weak on shields. Maybe. Like if you, if you like, you just like, not actually him, but the things that spawn out of him. I feel like that's like one place where you can end up. Um, we'll take the 15% crit, right? Yeah, every day of the week we fuck with that. These guys are fucking expensive to upgrade, though. Interesting. I'm just noticing them like sometimes they're firing at different enemies and it's like I feel like you guys should all be firing at the same enemy. I don't know that this is working like the way I expect it to be working. It is sometimes that's for sure. Hmm. 
You know what? I think it's maybe because this guy is targeting stuff down here. And these guys don't have the range down into there. Because this is technically, yeah, because I think stuff coming in here ends up being farther shit. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I don't love that. Um... I'm gonna demolish you. Yeah, maybe I will get the range upgrade again then. Because that would help with that problem. Because theoretically stuff here is actually... Stuff in this area here... I was looking at this point, but actually I have to worry about this area too. Because this stuff is closer than stuff up in here. Which I didn't really think about. So I do... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely frying these enemies. To be fair, I'm, like, sitting here, like, contemplating all the stuff, but the reality is we have, like, all the stuff back here that, like, n stuff never gets to. Um, but I think that that is what I'm noticing, is, like, these guys don't actually have quite enough range into that area down there. Uh, all towers, no. We'll grab the, the mana reduction. Four six two, not bad, not bad, not amazing. I I one I had one game where I was like twenty 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 once. But I think I'm gonna do a uh, progress marked another one because I think this guy, yeah. Because this is, this is always going to take precedence, more or less, I think. Yeah, I think this guy's always going to be able to tar target something that's marked by this. And ideally, we'll get one more range upgrade, and that'll help with my other ones. I'm surprised. Like, it just, it feels like there's so many enemies... But we're still able to get through them pretty well. Okay, stuff's starting to come through. So I think I might do a similar obelisk, another obelisk here on uh, on marked. And then... Uh, Juice this guy up a little bit. And then another one there, maybe. Same idea. Whereas if I invest in these upgrades, it basically gives me upgrades on three towers. Just a little bit of juice in this back end. I don't want to... I won't... I am worried about overkilling with, with this kind of a setup. Right, as the, they just end up, like, one-shotting stuff. But... No, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident overall. Maybe I should have a little bit more mana bank. I've, I'm kind of... I feel like I've just... In, I've gotten so many of the upgrades that reduce their... Um, ooh... A, lo a loss of one base damage actually kind of sucks because these guys have quite low base damage. But I think... Because I'm going to gain crit off of this. I'm going to get crit chance from this and from this. Although I am losing base damage off this as well. Questionably worth. Okay, let's get ourselves a portal. I like getting portals. Five, eight, four. Okay, we're... Yeah, we shouldn't... For these last couple, I shouldn't have invested anything in armor. Because eventually you just don't need very much armor damage. So I definitely was a little over-invested in that, I think. But, um... 
I'm going to build just... It's very hard for me to tell how much actually... I, I guess I could go through and I could do calculations of like, oh, how much mana do all these use? And then be like... Whatever, I'm not going to do it. But because only these guys are firing right now, like I have all these guys back here, I don't actually really know how much my mana usage is, right? I'm tempted to build another lookout up here that's on progress. Because this guy is... If I get the range upgrade, I'm fine. Um, but if I don't, these guys are kind of, these two ones end up not hitting something that's marked some of the time. And just, you know what, for 1200 gold, it's fine. I'll just slap one down. I can always sell it. Right, because I gained 31% crit chance and I gain like 8, 11, 15, which is an insane. And then I can just like, I can literally just like drop a couple upgrades in it that cost nothing and it'll upgrade naturally as well. Like that's an insane amount to add to this, the way that the damage works, like multiplicatively and stuff like that. Um, it's, yeah, it's so insane. Uh, sorcery three, I guess. Regenerate another three percent of my max mana. I mean, one percent per kill is kind of nutty too, because like there's just so many units, right? But three percent, like that's adding. That takes me up to six percent. I obviously could do the math on that, but we won't. We'll just take the three percent. Feels a little bit maybe more consistent. Uh, what's my, uh, let's just do one of these ones. Okay, uh, we're to the point where I think we're getting straight portals. This is level 40, so this is a a danger zone. Let me get my other obelisk down here. And then we want to do, ooh, okay, you know what? You've got quite a few upgrades into you already. I'm going to just mana bank out of an abundance of caution. Because I don't, I don't really think that there's any chance of me getting screwed on anything other than just running out of mana. We'll see, though. Maybe I'm being too cocky. Maybe I'm being too cocky. I'm going to put these on marked, because I, I think to some degree um, I maybe have fucked up. When I got the range upgrades, I'm kind of concerned that maybe some of my targeting got fucked up um okay so we're, we're fine i think we're pretty okay on mana yeah because we're getting 100 a second and i don't see us dropping below like 780 I, we're flirting with it so i think we're doing pretty good on mana okay stuff's making it further than i thought i'm gonna give this just a little bit of upgrades to be fair, like we have a pretty insane kill zone here at the back and uh, not some stuff is making it further, right? But not uh, not anything too, too serious. And this like this is a pretty intense kill zone here in terms of the amount of money invested in this lookout, right? Because he's getting like that 13 damage gets added on to that eight. And then all these other things get added on. These things do fucking insane DPS. Um, you would kind of like to have these not on progress, but on actually on killing the very high health ones. But I think I think it still ends up working out. Kind of curious how fast this guy's gonna die. Yeah, I think they're definitely overkilling those uh, 
Okay, so this gives me plus one range. Okay, I think this guy is now redundant. Um. Yeah, I think so. I, I do think we're definitely overkilling with this, but I'm just kind of having fun with that. Let's just pop out here. Doesn't really matter. So we're just 7, 10, 5, which is pretty damn good. With the obelisks uh, and the lookouts, that just scales so, so well. Tempted to do another obelisk uh, progress combo up here. Um, do I have one of these on progress? Progress, progress, progress. And then just do an, and maybe an obelisk here on progress as well. Might as well drop down the mana siphons. Yeah, that is pretty satisfying, I'm not going to lie. This stuff just gets deleted. Especially like when you see those crits, those are like 3000 crits, right? And these guys are attacking with 360 RPM. What's 360 divided by uh, 60? Is that is that like six a second or five a second? Six a second, I think. 360 divided by 60, yeah, that's six a second, which is insane. I think the next fastest attack speed is like 1.5 a second, I think. Absolutely melting. Okay. Uh, extra burn. I don't necessarily care about, I guess, monster. Uh, it doesn't, because theoretically that gets me towards getting more crit. Um, but I don't actually necessarily think that it matters very much. And, and it's very, actually, like, I don't even, yeah, I do have enough levels to get that 15% crit, but just barely. Um, but somewhat unlikely that we'll get to there. What's my overall crit chance? So this takes me to the times three, five, and then what do these guys get? So I think we're up to, like, maximum crit, like, to maximum four times crit with the uh, combination. Because the crit gets added together as well, which is nutty. So we're basically, like, max critting as well. Yeah, there's like 4,000 crits I'm seeing in there. So we're definitely like, there's a good amount of stuff in this game that we're just straight one-shotting. I'm getting a little nervous by the amount of, uh, I think we're, yeah, there's just the number of, of units coming through is like a lot. So 
So I think I want to have less overlap on my... Um, on my obelisks. So what is this guy? Hmm. I guess eventually... Yeah, that kind of works. Eventually this is going to start... This is going to start marking things that this thing can't attack. But for a good period of time, like as stuff is coming through here, just for the cleanup, it kind of works. Um, I definitely think, ideally, I actually would have more targeting that's based on splitting up these big guys up front. We do have that a little bit with this most shields and then um, most armor combo and then most health, but that's actually pretty far back, right? Um, so this progress, I think, I think this is just we're overkilling way too much stuff with this. So I think that that's like a little bit of a um, suboptimal setup there. I don't know that that plus one range is actually that useful. Let's just go plus two damage to health. Just gonna build a couple mana banks extra. So I'm gonna build another obelisk, I think. Progress as well there. I, I do think, yeah, no, I'm just running into this issue where they're fucking overkilling. So let's do let's do another one back here. Uh, marked progress. And let's give this guy a little bit more juice because he's supporting two now. Yeah, I think I think this is not a great setup, this progress mark stuff. Just because I think we're just we're just overkilling stuff. Um I mean, I do have one on most shields. You know what I ha I should have? Here is I should have a... I should have a most shield... Uh, most shield guy in here. Um, most shield. And then let me put this on most shield and marked. Give you just a little bit of juice. That should help. Yeah, okay, I should be I should be watching, but I, I think I'm fine. So realistically, what you want to have is you want to have some like most shields and then most armor and most health. Um just to, to split apart those those big guys. Um and I think I'm gonna do a most armor or at least or let's go least shields marked most armor most armor and then let's do a look out here on uh, no not there look out here what are the ranges like on this least shields most armor And then also a most health one as well there. Um, extra 1% per kill. I guess so. Yeah, there's nothing else there to get. Uh, let's just pop a lane. And then we are going to go for a most health. Least armor, least shields, I guess. Uh, okay, Leno, let's go marked, because we're going to want to have, ideally, a lookout with that. Um, and then least shields, least armor, 
most health. Give you a bit of health damage. Give you a bit of health damage. Uh, you're our armor guy. Where did I put the armor one? Armor here. And that should help get those go get those guys split up a little bit a little bit earlier. I don't think I need the mana banks, but just drop them. So we're definitely seeing the uh, the secondary split ones come through. So I think I'm most health in this area. Okay, okay. Stuff's making it farther than I'd like. Making it a bit farther than I'd like. Yeah, most health one in here I think is gonna be good to get. Yeah, you see that, like that stuff, yeah. The, this doing this whole progress thing with one tower I don't think works out. I think I could definitely do, you could do something like that with maybe a most health. Like if I was to change this actually to be most health, I think that that'll actually be better for us overall. Because that will, I think, more or less guarantee all, these guys have most health, so these guys will always get targeted down. Um, It, it does get a little bit difficult to actually finish them off as part of the problem. And that's one of the reasons I actually think investing in bleed is actually good. Because, like, once these guys get... Like, you'll wa we'll watch this stuff target it. Okay, maybe they just get, like, killed so fast. But once you get down to, like, their health... Yeah, I think that's definitely a better targeting situation. Um, all towers... No, let's just go for plus three to health. Um, and then I think I want a health guy in through here. Um, most health marked, I guess. Maybe marked as a priority and then uh, most health. And then I want a lookout in here as well. That is most health. Yeah, whatever. It's a little hard with the d divergent ranges there. So let's expand again. We'll just leave these guys as is. I think these guys are definitely going to overkill still as well, but I think we're fine. But we're going to see these portals now. We're going to watch as these portals come in here, like these guys. And I think they're just going to get start getting deleted by... Um, this guy's unmarked. Most shields. Progress and most health. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, you can see... Look at them. They're just getting, yeah, killed so much earlier. So having this guy on most health guarantees you are always going to target the portals. Because the portals have the most health of anything in the game. Yeah, that was definitely better targeting. The progress idea is kind of fun, but you just end up overkilling stuff way too much. Like you can remember the stuff was getting through to here, right? And this is like, this is a harder round. So that was definitely a huge improvement in targeting, which makes sense. I honestly, yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, you do have to watch out a little bit with Big Brain Oogie, because now these guys are always going to be targeting Big Brain Oogie over these portals. So these portals can potentially, s it's not a big deal. I'm curious how fast he dies. Once we get all these guys in on them. Okay, yep, just melted. But you can see here now the stuff that he split off, right, is actually kind of a bit of a problem for us. A little bit. I think we're still fine, but... Uh, 
definitely made it a little bit further than I'd like. Oh, sh what? am I running out of mana? No, no. Okay. I was a little closer than I, I thought that stuff would get, if I'm to be honest. But it is a definitely, I think there's just targeting issues, right? Even though they attack six times a second, I think that they just like kill stuff pretty pretty quickly there. So five, 552. Interesting, interesting. All right, that was fun. Nice, yeah, yeah, that is, uh, I've always wanted to do a run with the obelisks and the lookouts. Um, and doing a no ballista run at the same time is kind of, kind of a fun way to go. Yeah, it is an insane combo for single target damage. Like the fact that essentially you get two times double out of your upgrades here and the way that it multiplies with base damage. Like we were doing like 4,000 damage crits there and like six times a second with 4k crits is just nutty. <laughs> 